Yeah. This one looks easy. Easy? Yeah. So I want to show you another way of doing this. Like, yeah, we can. We still have the step one methods and things like that. Yeah, it's, it's easier than that Cambridge one that I'm going to look at. And seriously, <laughs> that's true for any equals to one. All right. So um, again, same idea. LHS is equal to one square. Oh, but hang on. Don't just kind of like automatically go into one, right? Because this is why extension two, you just got to read carefully, carefully. Right, we're just starting from three. So if you figure out that doesn't work, there's probably a reason why, right? So three squared, which is nine, and RHS, we've got two times three plus one, so that's just seven. And so LHS is bigger than RHS, right? Now at this point for step two, I want to use the other method we're talking about. You can actually go ahead and use A minus B greater than zero for step two as well when you're doing the assumption. So if I'm saying that, um, assume true for n equals to k, so i.e. that k squared is greater than or equal to 2k plus 1, I could also say that k squared minus 2k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0, right? k squared minus 2k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. And then step three, prove true for n equals to k plus one. What's the orange one you do? Um, that's just a rearrangement of the LHS minus RHS. So basically, you're trying to rearrange this because we're assuming it's true, right? Um, or no? Yeah, I guess so. You can think about it like that. Um, Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's not that you can think about it like that. Uh, and then we need to prove this guy. What? Did I do it? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, algebraic mistakes, man. It's just good pick up. So I need to show that k plus one all squared is greater than or equal to two outside of k plus one plus one. So let's use this LHS minus RHS method, right? Let's try. So if we do LHS minus RHS, it should look like this. We take k plus 1 all squared minus this whole guy over here. So 2 outside of k plus 1 plus 1. Um, and then I'm going to get this guy, k squared plus 2k plus 1 minus, it's about to get very messy, um, 2k plus 1 minus one like that. And then I'll expand this out again. Uh, K plus one minus one here. All right, cool. <laughs> Dude, the algebra is not working out right now. Um, and so I think the idea is, I want to find this expression in here somewhere, because usually you have to use that previous part in here. And can you see any manipulations I can do to get that? So I've got here. Minus two, minus one. This is what I got at the moment. So I'm looking for these pieces inside this expression. Yeah. Can you see anything? Mm. What can you see? Mm. Just, just move some stuff around. Move some stuff around. Right, I got k squared here, got minus two k here, got minus one here. So what I can do is I can say that I've got this k squared minus 2k minus 1, and these bits left over, I just put them together, so I get 2k plus 1 minus 2, that's just minus 1, right? And so this part, this is where we use our like inequalities now, right? This should be plus 1 here. Wait, that's a minus 1, sorry. <laughs> it's just bad writing. Um, that's actually greater than or equal to 0, right? So it's greater than or equal to this, so that's 0. Um, and I use this greater than or equal to here, plus 2k minus 1 um, from step 2. And so that's equal to 2k minus 1, which is greater than, well, it's actually just greater than 0, isn't it? Because uh, we have k greater than or equal to 3 for this one. Yeah. And that's how we could use the LHS minus RHS method if we wanted to as well.